What's up, guys, and welcome back. It's Patreon Paul here with Scrim. Hello. And we are doing yes. another Wrath of Sparta uh, part of our campaign. And sorry, I like spoke over you there, but no, it's okay. I've um, I've been thinking long and hard about this campaign, and I've realised that despite uh, Uboa being quite an important province, um, without using strong language, they can go do themselves so i'm going to rape and pillage and plunder and i'm going to ruin the place why because i hate them all so <laughs> so the first thing to do is to go to andros i'm going to sack it which is going to be easy enough mm -hmm. in we go auto resolve because that's not worth my time going aggressively oh right in the face I'm then going to loot it. It is now looted. Very I'm then nice. going to remove my army to incite a lovely little revolt, which is on 75 minus public order. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm actually going to leave my army there because I've just, just gained quite a bit of cash for doing that. Yeah. I'm then going to go to Calcus with the hammers of that one. <laughs> I'm going to do a lovely little night battle, which I'm going to auto resolve again because it's just... It's just no balance and power here. And this is going to be revenge for basically all the trouble it's caused me. And I'm going to loot this for three and a half thousand gold. Very nice. Public order, minus 114. Isn't that lovely? Luckily, I ain't going to deal with that. I'm then going to... Okay, and no, I have to repair it first. So I'm now... I uh, wonder if I can get my general out of here. Hmm. I've got quite a bit of money now. <laughs> I have far so, too much money. I wonder if I can actually save this army and do something with it. Hmm. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this army. Unfortunately, as awesome as it is, it is also a lot of upkeep and I need to get back into the green. And I'm back in the green. Very nice. This small army I'm going to use as a, va a vanguard. I'm going to use as a uh, defense against my rear while it marches up to Oreos. Fair enough. And that's what I'm going to do with that. Now, let's deal with these rebel scum. More rebel scum, to rebel be exact. Rebel scum. Um, do I attack the army? No, I'll attack this city. Now, I'm actually going to fight this battle. Only because I need to completely annihilate this rebel army. Because if I do that, it won't be on the campaign map anymore, which means I don't have to pursue it. If I don't have to pursue it, I can go back up north. So I'm sorry, Pope, but I'm going to frustrate right. you with a very easy battle for me. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> you haven't got anything, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. I have, like, 500 men. You do. Now I'm going to run again, them all down. Yeah, against like about 2,000. That's never <laughs> a good sign. I'm sorry, I just need to run... Uh, my plan is just to run down everyone. So if they get removed from the campaign map, I can push back north. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, well. It's, it's a necessity. There's now gold chevrons in this army. It's never a good sign. <laughs> my army is just is not experiences compared to yours but I have your garrison's seen. got like 60 men each yeah ah they'll fight to last I could probably use my shock cavalry to charge head forward because there's more cavalrymen than there are spearmen so right pick pick a man each and then get your friend to do the same yeah and then probably Battle his buddies. friend as well yeah get into groups of two or three pick a man and absolutely annihilate him just the amount of hot plates as well is just quite scary. I mean, uh, I, I always ha I always have ten solid infantry member army. Yeah, I mean that's possibly why your um, armies are so expensive because you go on full hot plates, which is obviously it's very strong at force, but it means you have a uh, less of large the... upkeep. Yeah, yeah. I, what that tends to be my strategy of any total wars. I have ten units of solid infantry or whatever my specialist unit is, and that will be the backbone of my army, followed by a bit of artillery, a bit of cavalry. And um, some archers as well, just kind of supporting units. So yeah. it means the army isn't, it's not particularly strong or weak in any place, it's an all rounder. Yeah. I think the light hot plates in this game are actually quite good. I think they are, they're, obviously, they are light and so they move around the battlefield quicker and they actually do hold their own 
um, against hot plates for a fair amount of time. So, Very true. So for me, like obviously, I use them, and then I use cavalry to either change the change the face of the battle really, and take out your archers or other cavalry. I suppose in a way, because the light hoplites have a better morale and attack power than militia, they can hold just long enough for you to charge into the flanks and rear to rout an entire army. So mm. it's a very cheap method of doing it. Yeah. But um, gets the same results in the end. But that's why I like heavy. If I lose like all my supporting units, then mm. I've still got some pretty decent soldiers just stabbing away. Yeah. Oh, it's just as pitiful as this army. <laughs> So few men, you could probably name them all. Yeah, I probably could. I'm not even going to give... There's no point really setting up. No, I'm just going to get my troops into position. Um, I'll say position. Into some form of battle order. Um, You might as well go over there. You poor, I'm poor gonna... man. You're all going to die. I think this should be a testament of what I do to rebels, because uh, I've had enough of this... Uh... Of this rebellion. These constant rebellions. Now, where are these reinforcements coming from, anyway? Oh, from my side. <laughs> That's not very useful. <laughs> That's really annoying, actually. That's okay, I'll just do this. I'll split my force in half. Because uh, I don't need to worry too much about you. Yeah. The only decent unit I have is the picked hot plates. Oh, these guys have um, javelins and stuff to throw at you as well. What, the hippias? Yeah, they've got like range stuff. It's kind of handy. <laughs> I could see your men chasing after them, like, I'm going to catch you! It's just more funny that all my guys just went to the edge of the map and were just like, yeah, this is... This was the... This is the plan. Yeah, you got them. I'm guessing my... No, they're holding their own. It's very rare for me to use cavalry against spearmen. Oh, there's peak top lights. I probably shouldn't have charged them in. Never mind! Hope my archers will just finish off the rest of your army. Just hoping that uh, I can break... I've not actually killed a single Hippias Lancer yet. You've killed five. Oh, okay. No, that's, your, that's your pick top lights. So yeah, the, mili the militia hot lights have just managed to kill one. Kill the one, yeah. Yeah, it's impressive. Well done, lads. It's so impressive. <laughs> oh, just broke this unit. That's the garrison. I don't need to worry too much about that. It's mainly this army here. Oh, you broke up there quite badly. Oh. Oh, beautiful. Just what I like to see. My men just being ridden down. Absolutely slaughtered. I mean, I don't really care about this nation. I I could not... You did fight them for quite a lot of years, so I'm surprised. Yeah, I mean... Just annoying. There we go. Right, broke them. Now we've got a cavalry round your rear, and I'm going to finish that off. If your men don't get away first. It's kind of what I want to avoid. I think some of the skirmishes got away. That's why. Uh, hopefully, they'll be too small to worry about. These are your pick top lights. They're not going to last too long with this, though. No, they're 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 dead. They're dead. <laughs> they're, they're, they're deaded. They're very deaded. It's playing three kingdoms. I've come to learn that a shock cavalry are actually rather good. Oh, just, just, no, that and just any total war shock cavalry just. Amazing, like Medieval 2, your knights and that were just destroyed everything, and I have nothing left. So, yep. Uh, there's gonna just gonna... So many units just on, just standing around just doing nothing. Yeah, I need to kill your general though, otherwise your army will survive. Well, the general's not in this part. There we go. 
Oh, there you go. Maybe there was a general there. Ah, indeed. Right, let's let the cavalry do its thing. Let's fast forward. Oh, sorry. There you I don't go. think there's, there's like one left, I think. Yeah, there he is. He's just running away, zigzagging. Like, fuck this. I'm out. <laughs> oh, he's going to get away. There's the sole survivor. Ah, good. No, that matters anyway. Nine, You've lost 19 Theron. men I killed. Wow. I did it. And I killed one of my own, I think. Yeah. Ah, good. Down he goes. So you've taken that settlement back? Yep. Very nice. Ah, oh, and the army's gone, which means I can now push back north again. Oh, there'll be another rebellion soon. Which <laughs> is slightly irritating. <laughs> just... Just something else to deal with in my day-to-day -day basis. I could loan you an army. Ah, oh, sorry, I've got my um, rear guard coming up now, so... Uh, I'll put that in Larissa. And I'll um, push up north. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do with you. Do I... Oh, let's upgrade you. Formidable hoplites. Sounds like a good one. And uh, for my... Uh, what am I going to do with my hero? Uh, harassing. Yeah, that sounds good. Or harass people. Um, evading enemy agents. Sounds good. You've got... Nah, we don't need to worry about that. Alright, let's look at my politics. Yeah, the... I think while it's a civil war, I'm actually protected, which is kind of decent, so it means I don't have to worry about that anymore. That's good. Okay. Isthmian Games, there we go. So that's happened. Uh, Slingers, faction destroyed, the Sicilian League again. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack... I've spotted a transport fleet of roads. So I'm going to attack it with my fleet. I'm going to kill them all. It's going to be an ore resolve though because it's really, really. It's 86. That's more yeah. than enough. I'm going to release the captives. 17 units? Yeah, release the captives to get like a thousand um, quid off them. I tell you one thing, my economy is doing fantastically now. I'm nearly on 10, 10 currency in the bank. Very nice. 10 grand, yeah. You, should go for, you could go for an empire if you wanted to. Like the hmm. empire. Um, empire to. And then you don't. It's like more loyalty. So you could, won't have any more of those civil wars. No yeah, more very than, trash. No more of more research rate. Um, what am I earning? 2,000 a turn at the moment. It's pretty, pretty weak. Um, I know what I'm going to do with one of my armies in the north, though. I'm going to send it north. The cavalry are a bit beaten up, but it should be okay. I'm going to start the offensive against Macedon. So and then we're going to buy some cheap slingers to uh, bulk up the son of Ares, and then we are going to build some stuff. 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 Stuffy stuff. Yes. Who don't, don't know what stuff, but we'll build some stuff. Oh, Macedonia's running away from the tail between its legs from your land into mine. Yep. That's how it should be. There's still one army lingering around, around in my lands, but it's not too much of a problem. Right, so we're still losing minus two a turn. That's because of instability, but that's fine. We don't need to worry about that just yet. And then, what are we... Yeah, what are we actually getting? Comedy, so it's going to improve public opinion anyway. And um, there's not much I can actually spend my money on. Not much stuff at all. I think I might just leave it and uh, see end the turn and see what happens. Oh, indeed. I'll keep money in the bank. Athens is going towards Andros. Yeah, I had a feeling. Might have, yeah. might have accidentally given him a settlement, but I will fight this because I can bash into their ships. So even though I've only got, I think, 12 men, yeah. I still have ships that can ram into theirs. Is it, do you think it's worth knocking them out? Yeah, I'd give it a go. I'm happy to have to do it. Apparently it's very much... Oh favorite. yeah, I'm playing against you. I might not be able to knock them out, never mind. <laughs> See what happens. If we can, we can start from getting Andros, that'll be a start. If not, then I'll, I can always go over there and take it with my fleet. <laughs> Very true. How about as well? She's glass helmets. Play going on. Yeah. 
I might do that. I might take it. So I've got two hoplites and an archer. <laughs> so really, in theory, you should be able to take out one of my boats because you have the extra boat. In theory, yeah. In theory. But I could probably route a few of your boats just with my archer unit because they're so low on like men. Yeah, literally three guys. Yeah. Don't really want to get involved in a in some combat, do you? Well, I've got a small garrison, so um, see what happens. <laughs> the small garrison will hold you back. <laughs> if I win this, I'm saving the replay because that'll be like the best battle I've ever, <laughs> I've ever won. Yeah, it'd be the worst I've right. ever lost. It'd be <laughs> right. There's thirty of you. Dude, there's about three hundred of them. Crack. <laughs> yeah, we can do it. Oh, just ships. Nope. I, I'm right. not. I'm just not even gonna. There's nothing I can, need to do. Uh, I just uh, that is so pitiful. I've literally just got all my men together, and they can't even hold a single um street. Oh no! There's like half the street just exposed. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Armored Marines. They're not any old Marines. They're armored. Can't wait for your archers to annihilate mine. <laughs> Looking at this ship, it's just these three chaps like, yep, we can do it. <laughs> I wonder, I think like having a lack of crew on a ship should really affect um, how strong it is. Yeah, you might actually hit that first boat. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. oh you there got the go. general. <laughs> you might win this. Uh, oh, fuck, you got mine. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh wow, you actually survived that. Interesting. I did survive that. A Run away! You Run might... away! Oh, you might win this, actually. You might win oh, this. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I've not played this well. Oh, yeah, and, you, and you're going to get another go. Yeah. yeah! Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay. I am sorry for everyone that's just watched that. I, like, do not know what... I was just like, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I won. Holy... I don't know if I really am happy with that, because, I mean, we're going to have to have... A, we're going to have... Someone else is going to come in with a bigger army. That's like, all right. Athens, I can fight him. Let's go. Athens has got a huge fleet around the other side. I think I might oh. win the next time. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Yeah, there he, is. Here he yeah. comes with his bigger fleet. I think he might win that. <laughs> oh, I'm not even. Oh my god, <laughs> I've got one boat left. Do you think I could? No, I don't think so. <laughs> These three chaps will take on the. No, nah, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> just realising <laughs> how how silly he sounds. This, this oh. one boat will take on ten. <laughs> I mean, it's not even proper try room. I, told, I, told, I said, boat. I literally said just before we went into that battle, you have the advantage in the boats. You probably could knock out a few of mine. And you do. Having the advantage is just enough. Oh, and Athens has now got a lot of forces They're back. They're moving in. in, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know if you should have really left Andros because now we've like lost that, the dominance in the sea a little. But we'll see. If well, you... yeah. Maybe, yeah. Probably right. Did we ever have oh. the dominance in the sea? <laughs> uh, I think we kind of scared them away with our settlements. Yeah. Kept them at bay, but not far enough. Uh, Macedonia's. Oh, Athens is now sieging Larissa. Uh, Persia is moving fine. more troops. Um, I'm wondering whether I could reach Kos. Might be able to, actually. Time to push on to Oreos. Uh, right, I've got another rebel. Battle to fight. They've run away. That's a lot of movement, but I haven't got much of a choice. I swear to God, if I have to deal with more rebels, I'm just going to turn into a, like a horde and just migrate everywhere and just sack and pillage. <laughs> That's the tiller, Scrim. We'll get there eventually. 
I think I might lose Larissa to Athens, but I'll put up a fight. Oh dear. Not good. Um, I've not expanded in ages. I really need to like get a move on. I guess I'll just build that there. I don't really want to expend my capital because I feel like it's under threat. Nah, I think your capital should be okay. I need to think about a garrison at least. Um, what's going to be a good idea? Main city. Uh, nah, that's all I can do because of food. Fantastic. Yeah, so I've just used all my food doing that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've just used all my money and my food. That's all right. Oh, I can upgrade someone. Who am I upgrading? No one's told me. Everyone. Oh, this guy. Right. General, you will reduce upkeep. There we go. Uh, you can move back to the home province. Because you have no purpose in Calcas now. Uh, my spy can just stay there and um, yeah I guess we're good to go very nice house that expands and preservation room and festival of Adonis 10% wealth from from stuff so basically we're a little bit better off nice 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 right we're gonna put another marine in another marine so we got the 20 stack fleet and then we're going to keep don't know whether I want to force march yeah I will I'm gonna force march just to get move on with this if I get ambushed I get ambushed that'll be a fun one yeah ah I think I might be okay he says for now he says you're uh, gonna go up north to Antogia yeah yeah well actually no I've gone for Argos um or a stickio or whatever it's called. Ah, oh, that one. Yeah. I'm also wondering whether I can go and take on Kos. This small little island over there. I think I could. Uh, luckily, this province I just take is uh, got an allegiance to me, so that's fine. That's good. Now I'm going to move you to Naxos. Then I'm going to build some javelins. Oh, we can only build two. That's pretty rubbish. Probably because it has something to do with me building some in mm. Lorien. Ah, well. Ah, well. And then I will build a slightly larger army because I might might go and retake Andros. Well, I'm going to have to go and retake Andros because you're not involving yourself in that part of the world anymore. Nah. You know, sack and rage, rape and pillage Oreos first, and I'll crack on. Fair enough. I am going to build a small army, ship them across with my large navy, and we will retake Andros that way, I think. Let's bear in mind they probably have a large navy there now, too. They do have two large navies there now. They have a 12 stack and a 15 stack. And I can. Fud. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I'm going to have to build maybe another navy to. Do stuff, but anyway, let's look at politics quickly. Make sure I'm not gonna have a civil war. No, zero percent chance. Um, I will spend money on securing a loyalty and any character things I can do. I can send a gift, spread rumors. I can he can seek a spouse, but I'd like to really adopt him, gather support. I'd like to adopt him. Huh. Why can't I adopt? Um, I don't really want them seeking any spouses. Looking for some of that pooting. Yes, seems to, seems to be. Um, gather support for Empire minus two uh, No, I'm not really that bothered about that. Um, I think I'm okay. Right, I've only got 500 left anyway, so I'll end the turn, and we'll see what happens. Oh, there goes my city. Oh, which one? Uh, Larissa. Oh, they, they're they going to take it? Yeah, I'm just going to have to siege it out. Uh, well, we'll get a siege battle then at some point, won't we? I indeed. Yeah, there we go.
Oh, what? I think Athens has left Andros. I could be wrong. Andros. The one that you just. Oh, I, I don't have line of sight. Yeah. Ah! Boatia, my. My general who defected is currently approaching Oreos. It's not bode well for my own army trying to get there itself. Ionian League's also doing a lot of movement. Don't like that. I can't actually see it now, so I'm just. I'm just. Yeah. In the dark. You are. I think they have. I think um, they've left Andros, so I might take Andros from them. Steal it back. Sounds like a plan, Batman. It's whether it's really worth it. It looks like Athens might have sent... Um, yeah, Athens looks like it's sending its forces to Naxos, so I'm going to have to pull back from Kos. But I can take Andros. No, oh, there he goes, my garrison. Oh, have you lost Rhodes? There's some old Rhodes. Calchas. To... Oh, Calchas. Well, I'm bothered anyway. Uh... My son comes of age. Hero gets a rank. Edict cancelled. Right, are you a navy? Right, you're a navy, so I don't have to worry about you. Let's go rape and pillage Oreos. I can't rape and pillage Oreos. Oh, bugger. Oh, yes, I can. I just need to do it in tonight battle. Um, We're going to go balanced. Give you something to think about. Oh, okay, that was fun. What's happened? Have you? Oh, I just raped in village and have a settlement. Right, Larissa, you're in my sights. <laughs> I could take this now if I wanted. Although, to be fair, it's a large army. I do think attacking it properly would be ideal. But first, let's get some stuff. I've also realised why Andros has left, uh, been left unoccupied because the Athenian fleets are now all coming for different settlements of mine. Oh, really? Yeah, they well, one's near Lorien, which is defended with a fleet, and one's going near Naxos, which is defended by a fleet. Plenty going on then. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else to build. I think a new hoplite barrack will be in order, just to replace what I've lost, obviously. Um, it looks like the fleet's coming around to Oreos to take it over. Maybe Opus, actually. He's in range for Opus. But I've got a pretty strong garrison, I think, so I'll be alright. Okay, right. I think that's it for me. I've got a few defensive moves I'd like to do. Okay, so we've got a load of people. Where did we get all them? Oh, the Sons of Ares, of course. I'm going to have to cancel all my buying, unfortunately, because I'd like to move this fleet here. I'm going to have to move this force back to Naxos. Joy. Fun. Such fun. Um, and then 15 is going to... And Lorien's got 8. Oh, that's definitely well defended. There's no way they're coming for... They can, re <laughs> they can get me there. Um, and then I kind of think I'm in range to attack up north, but I could be wrong. No, of course not. Oh, it's actually defended by a very small stack. Literally a one stack. <laughs> Just a one stack kicking about. Yeah, and then it's got four garrisons, so it should be okay. Well, I have a 20 stack. A little bit beaten up, but I can I can live with that. I like how Macedon's also... I'm like keeping an army of Macedon's just hanging around in goddamn... Um, and break here, and it's just like, yeah, we're just, yeah, I've got nothing to do. Right, can I army, sa I could sabotage you. So force you not to move. Oh, you failed, brilliant. Yes, you have failed me, but you rev level up for failing, so that makes sense. Right, um. <laughs> Love your mistakes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do that one. And then let's see, what can we build? Build, build, build. Oh, we can build that. I'd like to build that. Get a better public order here, because it's actually not getting better. It's, it's getting worse. Oh dear. But only just. It's like instability <sighs> keeps going down, then we're sorted. I just realised instability in my, home pro in my new province is now going down again. Oh, not good. 
Luckily, my other army's just in range. Unless they attack Oreos, which I'm going to try and make sure my army does not take part in. Very good. I really need to take Thermon, I think, as well, just to... But I haven't got the free army to do it. Ha. Huh. And Kokaira is actually starving as well. Yeah. Interesting. Right, and then I will rebuild those troops I was going to build in that fleet, actually. I think I'll do that. Build some cheap cheap javelins, and then um, maybe build some more infantry. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Do, we, do one of you. I'll build some hot plates and build strong infantry force, like you tell me to do scrim. <laughs> right, I'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. Oh, um, Athens has attacked me. What, outside the... For the yeah, there's, there's sallied forth. Well, shall we wrap up the episode here and we'll start we shall that indeed. and shall we start that battle for the next episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this uh, episode, please leave a like and subscribe and go check out Ch Scrim's channel as well for his version of the campaign. Until next time, uh, bye for now. Uh,